Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. How's it going? It is Monday, May 6th. We begin a new week with a free pick in just a moment. First, a quick note. Listen, if you're new to this whole thing, to these videos, to DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a trial run. All you gotta do is click on the link below this video and you get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. It's a real cool way to give it a trial run. In fact, you can use those free $60 dollars on any cappers uh, daily packages over at DocSports.com. It's as simple as that and again it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. I think you'll be glad if you give it a try. As far as what we got going on today, well, well let's start with last night first and by the way we're going to get back into a little bit of NFL thumbnail sketches on this report along with the free pick but uh, yesterday we had the winner in the NBA with the Toronto Raptors and here's the thing it was kind of one of those wins where you're very obviously happy to win the game but man it was that close to be in a a much bigger play for us and here's why uh, we were all set after their ugly loss last game to Philadelphia to come back and hit Toronto hard and then you had you know Siakam who's listed as doubtful all day Saturday Saturday night Sunday morning going into the game and you just got to pull back a little bit so it was still a win it was a nice four unit win but uh, we would have liked to have made it a little bit bigger than that but uh, again a situation where we're happy to get that win and Siakam played but he didn't even play that well anyway and they still got the victory 101-96 remember that line move from Toronto, you know, being a short favorite to being a two-point dog at one point because of that news and, and the bets just kept coming in. We talked about it Saturday night, the amount of tickets, the percentage that were being written on the Philadelphia 76ers. We did not agree with it and we cashed with the Toronto Raptors. We left the other game alone between Denver and Portland. Here's what I got going on Monday. Uh, we've got a seven-unit play on Monday's card. There's two NBA games. One of those games happens to be a seven-unit main event. We're going to head into Monday by the way on a red hot NBA run 35 and 16 we're closing in on 70% winners with their last 51 NBA picks over at DocSports.com we are up over $6,000 for those wagering just $100 per unit don't miss it seven unit main event in Monday's NBA will be available Monday at DocSports.com 11:30 a.m. Eastern 8:30 a.m. Pacific time actually it's a little bit later than that I'm sorry 1 p.m. Eastern 10 a.m. Pacific for the NBA on Monday over at Doc sports.com and again if you take advantage if you've never been a member of doc sports take advantage of that uh, free $60 account you can use it on that play we've also got baseball uh, to recap on Saturday and Sunday well we talked about Saturdays last night but Sunday uh, we did lose man we we were just not seeing it right we lost with Cleveland that's been rare that we haven't seen it right because we'll head into Monday on an eight and two baseball run so we'd like to keep the run going uh, had the great run last year from August 1st until the end of the season season and uh, we've hit our stride over the last couple of weeks we'll look to get right back in the win column on Monday slate Major League Baseball yesterday we passed the NHL matchup between the Stars and the uh, the Blues the Blues staved off elimination they're gonna have a game seven on Tuesday uh, there are two games on Monday and we're gonna be involved in at least one possibly two uh, when you go over to my homepage at DocSports.com Monday morning you'll be able to see if it's one or two plays we're involved in one game already we're looking for a couple of notes uh, that we want to find that goes into our system with how we handicap these games to make it a second play but one game for sure one play for sure on Monday in the NHL baseball NHL and of course that seven unit main event about as big as they get over at DocSports.com we'll look to extend our NBA run to 36 and 16 we appreciate by the way all of you have been with us through this real nice run in the NBA and in baseball a free pick in just a moment, but I do want to talk and get back to the NFL thumbnail sketches, I'm trying to get these done. Uh, and of course, with the Derby and all that kind of stuff, we had to postpone for a couple of days, but we're back in action and now it's time to kick off uh, the AFC North. And we're going to start with the Pittsburgh Steelers, not going in alphabetical order here. We'll do Cleveland with our next thumbnail sketch, but we're going to go to the Pittsburgh Steelers here. And I wanted to do this because, you know, we hear a lot of the NFL media, so to speak, really kind of bag it on Pittsburgh after last season, you know, the thought that Antonio Brown is moving on, no longer going to be a Steeler. We're okay with all of that. I am certainly uh, not as bearish, so to speak, on the Pittsburgh Steelers as a lot of other people. I think the Steelers are going to top their nine wins total, and here's a couple of the reasons why. Remember that offense last year? I mean, they scored over 50 offensive touchdowns last season. They still got Juju Smith back. They still got Big Ben. They're going to have decent receivers to throw to. I love the offensive line. you got a running back behind Ben or in the backfield with Ben who's got another year under 
his belt. Uh, the defense is spectacular. Listen, nobody's gotten to the opposing quarterback like the Pittsburgh Steelers over the last couple of years. I don't see much of a change here. And you've got a situation where you just brought in a great draft pick in Devin Bush, who's going to help that defense even more. So I like the defense. Um, they were top 10, even better than that. I think they were like fifth or sixth in uh, total yards, excuse me, in yards allowed per play last year to the opposition, just over five yards allowed per play. It's not going to change much. I really like the look of the Steelers defense. I think the um, it's been exaggerated that the offense is going to drop off like some are saying it will. I don't believe it will. As far as that draft overall, besides getting Devin Bush, strong, solid draft, top to bottom as far as I was concerned for the Steelers. So listen, this demise of Pittsburgh, I think is, is really jumping the gun for a lot of people that cover uh, the NFL. As far as the schedule is concerned, it's not overly tough. They do open on Sunday night at New England. Listen, there's been times in this Brady Belichick era where you can get New England early in the season. New England's about a six point favorite just about everywhere now. It's been as high as six and a half, but right now Pittsburgh, about a six point underdog week one at New England. And really when you look at the schedule, I look at like, for instance, going into week seven, I think is their bye week. They should be four and two, even if they lose to New England in the opening week when I look how their schedule breaks down. Weeks 10 and 11, it's going to be tough. I don't think there's any way they sweep those two games. Uh, week 10, they host the Rams. And then if you got a big divisional game the very next week at Cleveland, yet if Cleveland's playing as well as a lot of people think they will this year, uh, they might be looking at that game a little bit more than that home game against the Rams. That's going to be a tough two-game stretch in weeks 10 and 11. But then you look at the rest of the schedule, and I certainly do believe that the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to get to 10 wins. The over-under 9, I think Pittsburgh gets to 10. Uh, so I like the over on the Steelers here. No two ways about it, and uh, that's what we're going to go with here. Pittsburgh over 9 wins. Our next thumbnail sketch will stay in the same division, and we'll tackle the Cleveland Browns up next. All right, before I get to the free pick, real quick note again, uh, NBA 7-unit main event is the lead play on Monday. Don't miss out. We've been great with main events all season long. Uh, we've got a great 35-16 and 16 NBA run going on right now as we close in on 70% winners going back over 50 plays. And we'll look to get closer to $7,000 ahead for $100 per unit betters uh, if we hit this one on Monday night. I believe we will. So that's the lead play over at DocSports.com on Monday. And again, we'll also be involved in one NBA game and at least, excuse me, one Major League Baseball game. And we do have at least one NHL game of the two that are being played on Monday night. All right, let's get to the free pick. We're going to turn to Major League Baseball. A rare total for us here on the free pick report. We're going to back or play the over between um, Washington and Milwaukee, the game being played at Miller Park. It's Scherzer and Chassin. Listen, Scherzer is obviously a top-notch pitcher, uh, but... Uh, you look at what his team does because of that horrible bullpen, which has been at or near dead last as far as the highest ERA in Major League Baseball among all the bullpens for almost the entire season. Uh, they're like 30th ERA over six out of that bullpen. And when you look at Scherzer through his last six starts, they've given up 39 runs over six runs per game. And again, he might pitch decently for five or six innings, maybe only have three runs on the board if you're the Brewers. And then all of a sudden, that bullpen comes in and you go at it. As far as the Milwaukee bullpen, it's no great shakes. It's bottom third in the league. It's much better than Washington's. But again, you're talking around 20, 21st in the league in bullpen ERA. So uh, Chasin can certainly be had at times. And even if he pitches decently, only gives up two or three runs, when it's time for him to come in, that bullpen to take over, there's a good chance that you're going to get a couple of more runs over the last third of the game out of the Washington Nationals. Both teams hit well. They're both averaging about five runs per game on the season thus far and I think it goes over seven and a half I saw the juice mostly about a buck 13 to a buck 15 on the over we happen to agree that the over is the play Washington and Milwaukee even with Scherzer on the mound going up against Chassin we're going to play the game to go over the total and by the way uh, he's only pitched at Miller a couple of times over the last two or three years but his ERA was almost five and I almost forgot uh, one stat that I wanted to give on Scherzer if you look back before the season his last 100 starts going back three plus years 
You're talking about a guy who had a batting average against of about 189, 188 to 190, right in that range. Right now, as we speak so far this season, Scherzer's batting average against is over 260. I mean, it's a solid 70 plus points higher than it was over his previous 100 starts. So just kind of a note about Scherzer. We'll see how he does over his next couple of outings. But again, our free pick is over between the Nationals and the Brewers on Monday. All right, listen, that's going to do it for us. Don't don't forget about that free $60 account. If you're not yet a member, DocSports.com, you just click on the link uh, below the video and get started and set up for that. We'll be back on Tuesday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific, if not earlier, with the free pick from Tuesday's card. Listen, if you like these videos, we appreciate that you click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our reports. And uh, again, we'll be right back here Tuesday. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column.